Isn't this nice? A party just for us. Wouldn't it be nice if it could always be this way? <laughs> Miss Brady, that yellow berry's gonna give you a headache spell. Oh, I don't think so, Eddie. I don't think it will. Mama used to give me elderberry wine when I was a little girl for the hiccups. I always used to get the hiccups just when I shouldn't have. I remember it was my first big party at Lionet, and there I was with the hiccups and Mama laughing. <laughs> Everybody was on their way to come, and I was such a ninny, just hiccuping away. <laughs> you know, that's the first day I ever saw Oscar Hubbard. He passed by, and he lifted his hat, and my brother, to tease Mama, said, maybe we should have invited the Hubbards to the party. He said Mama didn't like them because they kept the store. That was old-fashioned of her. Then I saw Mama angry for the first time in her life. She said she was old-fashioned enough not to like people who shot animals they couldn't use and who made their money charging awful interest to poor, hungry, colored folks and cheating them on what they bought. Well, she was very angry, Mama was. I'd never seen her face like that. And then suddenly she laughed and she said, look, I frightened Bertie out of the hiccups. <laughs> and so she had, they were all gone. Yeah, they got mighty well off cheating poor folks. Well, there's people who eat the earth and eat all the people on it. Like in the Bible, with the locusts. And then there are people who stand around and watch them eat. Sometimes I think it ain't right. Stand and watch them do it. Yes, that's the first day I ever saw Oscar. Who would have thought this? Y'all want to know something? Well, I don't like Leo. He's my very own son, and I don't like him. My, I guess I even like Oscar more. <laughs> Why did you marry Uncle Oscar? That's no question for you to be asked. Why not? She's heard enough around here to ask anything. Aunt Bertie, why did you marry Uncle Oscar? Oh, I don't know. I, I thought I liked him. And he was so kind to me. I, I thought that was because he liked me, too. But that wasn't the reason. Ask why he married me. I can tell you that. He's told it to me often enough. Miss Brady, don't... My family was good, and the cotton on Lionel Fields was better. Ben Hubbard wanted that cotton, and Oscar Hubbard married it for him. Everybody knew that's why he married me. Everybody but me. Stupid, stupid me. Papa, I mean, when you feel better, couldn't we go away? <coughs> I mean, by ourselves, couldn't we find a way to I go? know what you mean. We'll try to find a way, I promise you, darling. You come rest a while, Miss Birdie. You talking like this, you'll have a headache, sure. I never had a headache in my life. You know it as well as I do. I never had a headache, Sam. That's a lie they tell for me. I drink. All by myself in my room, by myself, I drink. And then when they want to hide it, they say, Birdie's got a headache again. Yes, Birdie. Even you won't like me now. You won't like me anymore. I love you. I'll always love well, you. Well, don't, don't love me. Because in 20 years, you'll be just like me. They'll do all the same things to you. You know what? In 22 years, I've never had a single old day's happiness. And that's the way you'll be. You'll trail around after them, hoping they won't be so mean to you that day or... Or say something that'll make you feel so bad. Only you're gonna be worse off. Because you haven't got my mama to remember. Come now, Aunt Bertie. I'll walk you home. You and me.